What's up everybody, today we're going to learn a card trick where you can get a certain amount of spectators to pick cards and you reveal those cards to be still left on the top even though they were lost in the deck. So for this card trick it's very similar to the video I posted up the other week which is the four robbers video where you get the four jacks, you take them out, you tell the story about the jacks going to rob the bank, put them in the middle of the deck so they're essentially lost, however, they appear back to the top. In the end of that video, I discussed some things with different storylines and different ways you could put that method into other different card tricks. And one of them was the spectator option. So what you can do is, if you have four spectators, five, six, two, three, any number of spectators, you can still do the same card trick. And it's just the same mechanics behind it. For example, if we have one with four spectators, so there, four random cards in the deck. So we have two of clubs, seven of hearts, two diamonds, and the nine of diamonds. So as you can see here, we'll put them on the bottom of the deck and you can show them. So there is your four cards. So two of clubs, seven of hearts, two of diamonds, and nine of diamonds. And what we can do is we can take those cards and we'll put them on the top of the deck. And what we're going to do is actually lose them. So as you can see there, that is the four cards lost into the deck. So that's the four spectator cards now lost in the deck. And what you can do is you can do a hovering hand, you can do a click, do anything magical. And when you do that, all of the four cards are now on the top of the deck. So as you can see, that's a nice easy trick. And it can be done for four spectators, three spectators, any number that you want. The mechanics are still the same. However, it all depends on how many spectator cards that you're taking out as to how many you're gonna palm off. So it'll work with any specific cards that are taken out. And for this example, I'm just gonna flick through and I'm just gonna get all the aces out. Just for ease of when you're following it. What I'll actually do as well, I'll take out the two jokers, just so I can show you an example with two spectators. So put those there. These four aces are the spectators random cards. It doesn't have to be anything forced. So what you want to do is put those on the deck face up. And what you're going to do is show the four cards that are still there. And while you're doing that, you need to count off another four. So now you have eight cards in the fan here and the rest of the deck here. And what you need to do is get a pinky brick. And when you square up all of the cards, it looks like you have the normal deck there, whereas you have the actual pinky break with the eight cards. So when you pick them up, you have eight cards there rather than the four aces, which they think they have. Now, the only thing to worry about with this is when you're showing the cards, the next card under the four spectator chosen cards is fades. However, when you palm off these other four cards, it's the two of spades. So the way I like to do it is when you have your spectators around you at the front, you point them forward, say, there's the aces, turn the deck over, turn those over. So when you're doing that, even from a back angle, you can't see that card that's on the bottom because it's hidden. Essentially, you push forward, turn over. And you can even just push it forward, turn it over, and you have these and say, here's the four aces on the top of the deck. In this particular case, it's the four chosen spectator cards, but we've got the four aces for the example. Then all you do, because your next four cards off the top are four random cards that you got from the bottom of the deck, you can lose those in the deck any way you want. So you can push it in like that, get a spectator to push it in. Next one, next spectator, push their card in. Next, push their card in. And lastly, push their card in. As far as they know, they've actually pushed the card in themselves. Their card is now lost in the deck. However, their chosen cards are on the top of the deck still. Obviously that's the same, that's your four spectators and for two, so obviously we said we'll use the jokers, that's the two chosen spectator cards. You put them on the deck face up and again, count them off, show there's the two cards but then you want to palm off the extra two. So you've got a mound of four cards, pinky break it, square it up, then when you turn the deck, then you can see it. So as you can see here, we have your two cards. What we're going to do, put them on the top of the deck. Now we're going to lose them, where's the actual fact? Two top cards are two random cards I got from the bottom of the deck. So again, you can put them in, put them in there, put that in there. Get a spectator to push them in, or you can push them in whichever, and obviously two top cards are their chosen cards. 
So yeah, the trick works with any number of spectators. As you can see the example, we did two, we did four, and say for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, six cards there. So it's different, six different spectators. However, this may be a little bit more obvious because the, the stack of cards that you're gonna pick up is a lot thicker. But again, you just show the six. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six. Them are the chosen spectator cards. So you can see your card's definitely there. They'll remember it. And while you're doing that, I'll count off one, two, three, four, five, six, pinky break, pick them up, say so, right, your six cards are now on top, lose them in there, one, two, three, four, five, six, square up the deck, so once you've lost all the cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's all of your cards, a very easy card trick to do, and anywhere you go with any amount of people, you can do that trick. So you can either have it set up as the previous card trick with the four jacks and the robbers or with this trick which I like to do was obviously spectator chosen cards which I think is a lot more better for when you perform magic for people. I think it's a bit more organic and more personal when you're getting someone to pick a card saying oh well your card's now on the top however we're going to lose it in the deck and it still appears back on the top. I think the first time you show this to anyone the mind is just blown because you think well, it's shown us the card there, he's picked it up, put it on the top of the deck, lost it in the deck, and it's still there on the top, so how does that work? But yeah, that's another nice easy card trick. I know it's similar to the other one, however, this is a different presentation that you can use to different spectators and not even have to do a story about it. You can just say, right, use four, five, or six, or two, or three, any amount, and we're going to do a trick just for you and this is how it goes. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the trick and you can also amend it and do something a bit different possibly if you want to do it more adapted to your own style or even just take the same stuff that I did, apply it to your trick and that's it. Yeah, it's a really good walk around trick just so any deck of cards can be shuffled, could be a borrowed deck, could be anything. If anyone asks you to see a trick, then this is one of the sort of very easy go-to tricks that you can show someone saying, yeah, right, here we go, I'm gonna do a trick. You can shuffle the cards, you can do whatever you want, and then you get them to pick the cards, show them, they go on the deck, they get lost, and then produce them, it's just classic. Is there any other tricks that you wanna see us do on the channel? Leave a comment below, I'll shoot a video on that. Until next time, see ya.